Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Flipboard. As I've said in a number of videos and on my blog in, in the past, our role as educators isn't necessarily to create content, it's sometimes to create content. There's a wealth of information out there on the web and sometimes our job as educators and our job also is to train our students to be able to create and find the most appropriate content that they require. So what is Flipboard? Well, it's an app that's available both for iOS and Android and you can also access it via the web. And what you can do is you can choose various things that you want to follow. See if I come here, I can see that there's various magazines and, and content that's already been curated. I've got my own content that I've curated down the bottom there. And in a moment, I'll show you how you can do that. But I can also add my social media feeds. So going through Twitter, I find this is quite a nice way to, to look at my Twitter feed I get the pictures appearing as well, and it's just easier to flick through and look at it than having to scroll up and down to look at my Twitter feed. So I like viewing my social media feed through that way. They have some content that they've suggested maybe of interest. And there's also a news desk, which again, they're suggesting stories that may be of interest to the viewer. So we click on the three lines at the top here. We've got my profile. We can look at who I'm following. We've got notifications, so if I follow a particular magazine, it will tell me when new content is published. And then I can scroll up and down and choose things that are of interest to me. So interest in sport, I can click on that. I've got a UK sport. I've also got various other bits that I could follow. And if I click on that, I can find content. I can flick through and read the stories from a, a range of different sources. And there's a blue follow button in the top left corner. And if I'm interested in following that particular topic, in this case tennis, I can follow that and that will appear in my grid of things that I'm looking at. So if we go back to my profile, I've already created a new uh, magazine assessment. You can see it there. To do that, you just click new. You then choose whether it's private or, or public. So I'm going to go into that magazine. Having added it, I can then click on the pencil, I can write something about it. I could add a photo and then I can start to add stories. So I can search for a story. and it will search for various things that I may find of use. So I'm interested in this one here. I could then click post and that will add it to my story. And I can keep adding more, keep pressing the plus uh, and I can add more stories as I go. And if I'm happy, I can then share that using the little share icon in the bottom right corner. So it may be that I'm not that interested in creating my own magazine. I can just look at some of the content that's already been curated by the people. You can see I've got an education one there. Uh, I can flick through. And that's got a variety of different sources. Uh, and it's a great way of keeping up on date on what's happening. So I find Flipboard is a great way to keep uh, informed about the areas that are of interest to you. And then it makes it very easy for you to share that content with other people. So if you like the video, um, please do share it. And remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.